All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comment. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomment.com. Um, this logo we're going to be recreating is made by Hastis Roblox. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter in the description below. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today, you know, Halloween is coming up. So today we're going to do a Headless Horseman render. And uh, as you can see, we are starting off in Roblox Studio. And we're just going to go from here to Blender and finish it off in Photoshop. So this is the entire process. Um, I know a lot of people have been wanting a tutorial from start to finish. So uh, here it is. So we're going to start off with Headless Horseman. I just want to look it up. Find one that you want to use. Um, I'll say uh, I'm just going to use this one. So you just want to go right click export, pick a destination and name it whatever you want. And uh, once you have done that, we are going to go to Blender. So I'm going to see you over there first of all to get rid of all these uh, objects you want to hit A on your keyboard to select all hit X and then just click on delete right over here alright so now we are going to go to file go to imports and object file and right over here you want to find your headless object just hit import if your object is not in the center what you want to do is you want to go to object set origin origin to geometry and hit G on your keyboard GX and GY and you just want to center it as you can see and uh, if you don't understand basic blender navigation use your middle mouse button to rotate just click down on the scroll wheel as you can see um, do that while holding shift it's going to pan and obviously using the scroll wheel will zoom in and out so we have this let's zoom in and uh, you want to click on this bubble this is going to show texture and let's go to your render settings make sure your engine is on Eevee turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections and now we're just going to click up here and now you want to click on this red uh, globe icon click on the circle beside color and go to environment texture hit open and now you want to select an HDRI of your choosing um, if you don't have any, just go ahead, go on Google and just look some up. Free HDR, they are very easy to find. So once you have found some, just download them and uh, just select one. So I'm going to pick this one and as you can see, if I increase the strength, you can see that it affects the lighting on the character model, just like that. And uh, I'm going to go back to my render settings. I'm going to go to film and turn on transparent, just like that. And uh, let's just add a bit more lighting. So hit Shift A on your keyboard, go to Light and Sun, zoom out, use GY, GX, and GZ to move up. I'm gonna point the sun at the model. Go to my sun settings, and I'm just gonna turn this up to 50. Specular up as well. Probably like two now what you want to do is you want to click on the character model and uh, click on this right here now I'm just going to adjust the uh, material settings as you can see of the character model so yeah, something like that as you can see and just click on this one now mess mess around with this until you get something that you like all right once you're happy with how it looks you want to hit shift a and we are going to add a camera object and now you just want to hit zero on your number pad not the uh, numbers up on the top on the uh, top row so you're gonna want to position it however you want go to your camera settings and we could just adjust this a little bit so maybe something like that will work you could maybe zoom in Alright, so once you have it how you want, we're gonna go to um, this tab and uh, I'm gonna do a thousand by a thousand. Zoom out, reframe this. 
just like that Let's zoom back in but uh yeah once you have everything how you want just go up to render hit render image and this should be done pretty quickly go to image and just save as all right once you have saved the image now we're gonna head to photoshop all right here we are in photoshop the canvas is 1000 by 8000 just like the image so so to start off you want to find a wallpaper all right i'm gonna try this one right over here we're gonna scale this up and put this behind and go to filter blur and gaussian blur just like that and uh let's scale this up as well um, there we go now i'm going to add a exposure adjustment and i'm just gonna play around with the slider there we go um i want to enlarge this actually now i'm just adding a gradient map on the soft light mode um i don't really know what to say because i'm just doing this as i go along <laughs> i didn't exactly plan this out but uh yeah just follow along and uh you should be able to achieve similar results to what i am doing i'm gonna go out here and do black boom and boom and I'm just go like and I'm just gonna go like this all right now for the pumpkin effects I am using i5k's graphics pack the 7k pack um, as you can see um, you can use any pack you want if you don't have any just look it up online it's very easy to find just look up free graphics pack just go ahead and do that I'm trying to find which stock I want to use let me see how this looks change the mode to screen as you can see and uh, let's put it right right over here so what you want to do for fire is we're going to copy it again and let's go filter blur gaussian blur so blur is out something like that we're gonna make a new layer go to our brush tool and select an orange color something like that maybe and i'm just gonna brush on the inside so there we have it Changes to overlay. Oops. Copy this again. This time screen. And then copy it one more time. This time normal. Alright, now let's go back to the actual fire effects. So make a new layer. Orange. And now we're just going to paint around the character as well. Filter blur. Gaussian blur. And change this to overlay. As you can see. We can copy this again. Um, yeah. I mean, just try your best to follow along. I don't really know what to say right now. Um, I am trying to figure this out as well. Overlay. I'm gonna add more fire and uh, I'm gonna add more fire. Let's make the scene a bit more interesting. Alright, so I found it. It's right here. Let's erase that. Alright, so take everything. Uh, select like the top layer, hold shift, bottom, control G, control J, control E. So we have this image, but you see there's there's all of this excess. 
So just went Control A, Control J to copy, delete the previous one, and Control J to copy it again. Now we're gonna go to filter, and we are going to play around with these settings. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.